There are many changes uh, that are wrapped up with glacier change, but a lot of those changes are geographically specific here in Hub. It's an issue of, of the port changing, it's an issue of the rivers changing, the bridges changing, the infrastructure changing, the sense of identity changing. Little up key. Okay, it's a come to jump over here. Okay, my name is Bjartni. Uh, I was born and raised here in Hub. I lived here for 16 years when I moved to Reykjavik to go to college and then further on for university. Then I lived in uh, Stockholm for a year and when I came back to Iceland uh, we had one kid so we decided to move to Hub for a year. That is now eight years ago, so we are still here. So, for uh, climate changes, I don't think it has affected this place so much according to weather. Um, maybe there is less snow in the winter, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's a it's so much difference here. But of course, in the long run, we feel it maybe doesn't happen that fast to see the difference. But the best way to see how fast it is working is to go there. It's really easy for you to drive up to the glacier and see where it was. So it's since I was, uh, I mean, 20 years back, it was bigger than it is today. But you don't, when something is right in front of you all the time, you never realize something is changing. But maybe if you would come here, in tw yeah, if I wouldn't have been here for 20 years, maybe I would feel the difference. I'm, I, my name is Bryndís Holmarsdóttir and I'm from west coast of Iceland. Okay, so you moved here. I moved here, I met a guy ah. uh, <laughs> and moved here. And, and we run a, a, f a boat. Mm -hmm. We have done it for almost 30 years to live here or not at the west. There is uh, no snow. Not much, no. You, in this area, you see it very clearly, mm -hmm. because we have see, seen the, and the glaciers go down. You, oh. you can just see it. I've stayed here for 25 years, and you see it every year if you are looking for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's it, nothing I can do, really, mm -hmm. unless it take you know, recycle and nothing. I can do that. I can't control the nature about it. Mm -hmm. If if the sea gets lower, lower mm -hmm. then the fish will not live, and then I cannot cast mm -hmm. that catch that fish. With the, uh, with the global warming, we got uh, the fish mackerel. We have cut. We um, my husband cuts a lot of mackerel mm -hmm. on our boat, and that's just because of the global warming. The oh. sea gets hotter and the mackerel come from Europe. I'm Paul Me, I'm from Hub. I'm the chef here at Cafe Odne. And yeah, oh, I'm a fisherman and a hunter and a chef, so it all kind of comes together. Well, the glaciers are going back to the way they were when the Vikings came, they're going smaller. Mm -hmm. And the summers are well, not longer, but they're a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And you see a, a few new birds nesting here. Not a lot of them, but a few. And that's also nice because then we get a bigger hunting quarry. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. You can't go hunting anywhere anymore because there are always stories everywhere. You can see even when you drive from Reykjavik to Hub, you can see these dark patches in the moss. Mm -hmm. That's where all the tourists go, it's where they walk. It kind of sucks. Well, it's my job to make food for the tourists, so it's also a plus, but uh, enough is enough. Well, it is a fragile ecosystem here, mm -hmm. and we have to watch out for everything. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it's, um, 
it's a really interesting story um, but many things here uh, we did so much locally this here is um, um, rocks or stones from the beach and the other one the colored one is from next county loan just and then it was met, uh, you know, mounted together. Um, we had a workshop that built all the interiors our, and the, the sofas. The tables were built by our carpenters. Uh -huh. And uh, the most amazing thing about this place is uh, the roof. Because it was covered before, you know, it was, uh, you didn't see it. So when we took it away, it was like this. So. Um, it's the one of this uh, what would we say the pride of this place is to and that's the story we tell like how this place is how how could we say it the, I mean in a nutshell how this place works that is this look uh, hub we had to do everything by yourself so we have people that can do almost everything and that's that way we were op uh, able to do this almost all everything as we say by the people locally yeah, definitely, definitely. And and this the strange thing is, I mean, I'm still here. Why am I not somewhere else? I mean, so there is, I, I I'm an educated young man. I can speak English. I, I I would be able to live anywhere in the world where it's open portals. And I mean, for Icelandic people, we can almost live everywhere. So still, you come back to this place. Uh, you, I don't know. I call it you know the island in the lost city and they were always getting back and I say this is the island in the lost you somehow you always end up back